Hello. Thank you for choosing to work with me. So I will demonstrate uh, how to run a campaign using this amazing platform for mailers. It is uh, one hosted in uh, their own domain, as you can see here. So the first thing that you want to do is to log in. So. And then after you log in, you'll have different options in terms of how you're going to be running um, where you can start. So you'll see this pop up. Uh, you may want to read a few things about it. So you just hit close for now and then you can continue. Once you're done, you can end the tour. So once you're in this uh, platform, you need uh, you need three things. Number one, you need an email list. Number two, you need the message you'll be sending out. And number three, you need uh, the delivery server. The delivery server is also known as the SMTP. So in this platform, I've already set up an SMTP. So you don't need to do anything about here. It's already active. And then the next thing that you want to do is uh, you want to come uh, to your templates. You can either upload a template or you can create. So when you're running cold emails, I usually uh, recommend you keep it simple. Uh, do a normal uh, text message don't do the html flash designed uh, uh, templates keep it simple normal message they have uh, higher deliverability so um, there are some amazing features that i highly recommend one makes use of so we have the the random content feature The random content feature is scroll down till you see it here it is then you can save it hi hi hey hi hello so how this feature works is uh, it, it makes your message to have a lot of variation so that you do not seem to be sending the same message over and over again uh, because you can easily trigger the spam filters if you're sending the same message over and over again so you do a variation in the greetings and then you may also want to do the variation even in your sentences so sentence one would be something like um could be anything then you can continue from there On and on and on so <clears throat> uh, what is happening here is one person will receive something like hey uh, the data that has been recently released uh, blah 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 then the person will receive something like hello could you be interested in the latest report so uh, if if you have like five sentences and you have on each sentence you have like four or five variations you realize 
um, very few people will receive the same message even which will really help in terms of deliverability so the other thing you want to do is uh, always ensure that you have um, a subscribe link so here it is Use the font to ten. This can be anything from twelve or fourteen. All right, this will be auto generated by the system. You don't need to do anything about it, and then you can uh, hit uh, give it a name here. Now you have your template. Uh, what is missing is now the list. So you say create new. So when it comes to list, this this general general data is for your own uh, identification purposes. There will be nowhere where the client will be uh, will see this. So you can put in any any information here. For identification purposes uh, purely, so um, and then you hit uh, save changes and back to list, and here you have it. And then you come here, import, and then uh, CSV, choose file. Say for instance this one, and then you upload. So you'll be able to see the import process has finished. So you have your list, you have your message, and you have your server ready. Now it's time to run the campaign. So you come here, create new, you choose your list, you give it, you give your campaign a name. Majorly you don't need to do anything here unless you have a segments and group. You say save and next. You ensure that these details are as far the way you would want them. And then uh, you come up with a subject. I always recommend making your subject catchy and um, and to be curious. For instance, uh, let's use this tool. So if you use such a subject, and then you test, see your score. But we are used to seeing these uh, subjects get this offer now. It is a strong subject, so you may want to avoid that. So you have your subject ready. Uh, show more options. You don't need to do anything there. Save and next. And then here you choose the template that you have created. Hit uh, choose, check everything is okay, save and next, check the details as per the way you want them, and then you hit send, and uh, you're done with your campaign. It's usually simple and straightforward, uh, mail use is really good when it comes to cold outreach. So, give it a shot, and thank you.